Okay, so uh, okay, so this is going to be a uh, video tutorial on how to <coughs> set up uh, your biomechanics model uh, for the spring 2009 uh, Intro to Biomechanics class. Um, so we've already done the capture in the lab, and the data uh, was uh, transferred from the capture computer over to the class server. And so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to give you a quick guide on, on how to get things set up. So we're going to open, um, well, first thing, let's go ahead and make sure that we're connected to the Internet due to our Internet connectivity problems in this room. Um, and so, yes, we are, and we can check that our uh, um, files are indeed here. Uh, in this case, I am logged in as myself, so I don't have the Y drive map the same as you, so I'm just going to go to where it is. And HS601 is where that is, course information. And we'll see that our Vicon database is there. Now, uh, on this computer, um, under uh, the hard drive, if we go to the documents and settings under MoCap students in the Vicon directory is where I had told you to put the HS601 Capture Spring 2009 database, we'll see that, that everything is indeed in this database. And so let's go ahead, and now that we know it's there, let's open up uh, Vicon Nexus and wait just a bit for that to open. And then once we're open, let's go to our data management window. And uh, we should already have uh, created our database. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that here. I can show you again in class. Uh, but if we remember where that is, um, it was. Uh, Again, under mocap students, my documents, uh, which would be mocap students documents in this case, Vicon, HS601, and HS601. So we're going to open that database, and we'll see that we have our uh, subject and our trials from the subject. Okay, so um, these little icons here are associated with the trial. Uh, the yellow is the movie, the X is the data. Uh, don't worry about that for right now. What we're going to do is we're going to double click on T pose. And that's going to open up. And we're going to look at our subject. And again, this is starting from blank. And we can orient ourselves in the 3D window here. Remember, uh, left click and drag is rotate the window around uh, so that we can look around in the world. Right click and drag up or down is zoom in or out. And middle click. Remember, don't turn the wheel and drag is strafe up, down, left, or right so that we can orient ourselves however we would like. Uh, generally, what we want to do in this case is center ourselves on the force plates because that's going to be the T pose. And we want to optimize uh, the visualization of the dots for tracking. Okay, anyway, uh, next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and run this reconstruct pipeline, which is these three gray dots up here. So if we click on that, that's going to. Um, run the reconstruct pipeline, which is going to show us where the dots are in this uh, video or this capture sequence. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create an, a blank subject. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click on that icon right here, and I'm just going to call this Matt uh, D and say OK. And that creates that. And you'll notice that does a few things over here. So we can click on this subject here. And so then if we open up the things, we notice that there's nothing here right now. So, and we just have a bunch of uh, uh, white dots that are uh, unlabeled. And notice we can't label these right now. We don't have any options to, to do any of that. So um, what we need to do is we need to set up our uh, skeleton and uh, our uh, labeling uh, template so that we can use this. And we're going to use this uh, the rest of the semester. We're going to be using, um, we're not going to be using plugin gate within the Vicon Nexus program. We're going to be using some bodybuilder code, which has been around for a while, that uses the Gollum model. Uh, it works fairly well for what we're going to use. And I'm going to show you how to do all that as the course of the semester goes on. But for now, let's just learn how to set up our labeling template. OK, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create some segments. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create the pelvis. We click Create. And then, again, I was telling you, the way I like to do this is I like to start from left side of the body on the front and then go to the right side and then back. So we're going to pick this dot, this dot, this dot, and this dot. So that's A ASIS, uh, R, uh, sorry, left ASIS, right ASIS, 
left PSIS, right PSIS, okay? So once you pick those four, that's click the, click the create button again, and that'll orient our segment. Um, now, try to be careful not to use the wheel uh, while you're in this window, or it'll uh, remove your segments here. Now we can open this up, and we notice we have some markers that are unlabeled, we have the pelvis, and we actually have a joint, which is the pelvis with respect to how it moves to the world. And we, we can know this because the way that we clicked on those dots defines the planes. But again, we're not going to use uh, plug-in gate for this course, so uh, we don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, let's go ahead and create our next segment. Now, again, I like to do things from left to right, uh, subjects left side to right side. So let's go ahead and start with left um, femur. Okay, now remember, I'm using capital L and then lowercase EFT. The rest doesn't matter. The reason for this is that it'll help you to color code um, your segments. And so we're going to start uh, with the left ASIS. We're going to click on the left knee and then the left femur, and we're going to say create. And you'll notice it colors that red. Okay, and so then I'm going to do the left tibia, and I'm going to click create, and I'm going to pick knee. Uh, lateral malleolus and tibia dot and click create and we notice that our orientations are now the same going down the length of the leg we have three segments now being color coded okay so uh, orange segments indicating center body segments now let's define the left foot okay and left foot okay so now uh, let's go ahead and click create and let's go ahead and define this segment by the uh, lateral malleolus. Let's go to uh, MT5 on the left foot. Let's then uh, go over to MT2 and then back to the calcaneus dot and click create. Okay, and then that creates our last segment on the leg, which is the left foot. Okay, so let's do the same thing for the right side of the body, capital R I G H T, and uh, let's do left femur, or sorry, right femur. Uh, click create and again we're gonna pick uh, the right ASI the right knee and the right femur okay click create and that's you're gonna notice that this dot out here is, is not within the segment and that's just because of the placement of the dot we want our left side low and our right side high so that we can uh, figure out where things are in 3d space easily okay and let's move on to the right tibia okay and click create we're gonna pick the right knee the right uh, lateral malleolus and the right tibia, 